The first thing that immediately came to mind was a couple years ago, I remember reading about some folks who were creating an artificial intelligence creative director, a robot that could kind of concept and direct its own commercials and do its own thing. And it felt like the industry in general was moving towards a space of just like bigger data and more optimization and everything was digital and automated. And I think that for better or worse, the pandemic has reminded us that that's not always the best thing and that what is really powerful is our human connection with each other. And that to have those really powerful connections, to change the conversation, um, to really connect with each other, with our clients, with our customers, it's about being human and it's about embracing our imperfections. I guess I don't really have a prediction as much as that hope. I hope that we remember that this is our biggest strength and our biggest gift that we can give to each other. And I hope that we don't seek to strip that out and kind of sanitize it. I hope that we always remember um, to reflect on our humanity. Over the last several years, we've seen that folks really need to have an expansive skill set in order to survive in this industry. It used to be that you could just be a graphic designer, a copywriter, or know some web coding and expect to have a job forever. But folks are really wanting to work with people that can handle everything and not have to have a separate go-to contact person for every little thing they need. Um, we think that's definitely going to continue, which is great for a small shop like us that doesn't follow a traditional agency model. And we love being able to serve our clients with just about everything. What I would say is, you know, if I think about advertising, I mean, I've been in the industry for a really long time. I've been lucky to work with a brand for 15 years. Prior to that, I worked in an advertising agency. And what I would say is, you know, 10 years ago, it was all about TV. And you, you know, you were out there with the mass media, you had to break through the clutter with all the other advertisers out there. What were you gonna do that's differentiated to make sure that your brand was sticky with the consumer? And if I think about the future and kind of where we're at now, we all know with COVID and last year, I mean, we had to change our marketing mentality on a dime. Customers did not care about anything other than safety, whether it was food, whether it was retail, whatever it is, safety was top of mind for consumers. Well, in my case, I'm used to selling pizza. So when I have to flip that and think about selling, selling safety, you know, and how consumers are gonna get their food safely, I mean, that's a completely different mind shift. So if I think about the future and where we're headed, it's all about personalization. Um, from a digital standpoint, social media, all the things below the line communications are going to be so much more important now. Um, but it's all going to be about what the customer wants. If you think about, I want what I want when I want it, we're headed there. And I have no doubt that in 10 years, that's where we'll be.